Investment bonds are a financial tool that are used to raise money and they are issued by governments and corporate entities. They basically act as a loan between the bond issuer and bond investors. So when you invest your money into bonds, in return you receive interest payments on the money that you lend to the bond issuer. These are what's known as coupon payments. Corporate entities use the money that they raise from issuing bonds to expand their business ventures and governments use the money that they raise to grow government even more so that they can enforce ridiculous laws that deprive taxpaying citizens from their human rights. Now there are certain bonds that are considered to be safer alternative to stocks. Standard & Poor's rates all bonds from AAA being the highest rating and double D being the lowest rating. This is what's known as the coupon code and it's based on the bond issuer's ability to pay back its bond holders. Government bonds are considered to be a safer investment compared to corporate bonds because a corporation has a higher risk of defaulting on their repayments because they can and they do go bankrupt. So as a bond investor, the rate of interest that you receive depends on the bond issuer's rating. If the bond issuer has a high rating, then their interest rate is usually lower because they are less likely to default on their coupon payments. And bond issuers who have a low rating and who are more likely to default on their coupon payments usually have a higher interest rate compared to government bonds for example. So the less secure the bond issuer is, the more interest that you get. So here's a quick example of how it works. Let's say the government wants to raise money so they issue bonds to fund the building of a new stadium. And each bond that they issue are $100 each, which the government agrees to pay back in full after 10 years. And the annual coupon rate that they also agree to pay is 5%. So every year, the government pays $5 to its bondholders and these payments continue for the duration of the bond, which is 10 years. So the bondholders make a $50 profit on every bond that they buy. And once the 10 years is up, the government then repays the initial $100 principal payment back in full. So because bonds offer a fixed term payment structure with a 100% return on invested principal, they are considered to be a stable form of investing compared to the volatility that you experience when you invest in stocks. Because a stock's share price is generally guided by the supply and demand of the company's products and the sector that it trades in, which makes the stock price unpredictable. But just like any investment you make, bonds do still carry some risk. If you wanted to sell your bonds before they reach maturity and interest rates have risen between the time you purchased them to the time that you wanted to sell, then you will get market value, which means you will only get back what someone else is willing to pay. And the market value of a bond is determined by supply and demand. But because interest rates rose from the time you purchased them, you would likely need to sell them at a discount or even at a loss to make them more appealing for potential investors. Bonds are just one tool that you can use to diversify your portfolio. Billionaire investor Ray Dalio's all-weather portfolio is made up of 55% bonds. I personally don't invest in bonds, so let me explain why. The Australian 10-year government bond has a 1.8% yield. So if we were to purchase those bonds for $100 each, over the course of 10 years, our total return on investment would only be $18 for every bond that we purchase. Now, although that's still better than having your money sitting in a bank account, inflation over the course of that same time period has risen by 2.5% annually, meaning the price of goods and services has increased by 2.5% every year. So our investment, both principal and coupon payments, would be at a 0.7% loss in purchasing power. Now this is just a basic overview of bonds. There is still a lot to learn. If you're interested in all things investing, then this channel is for you. Subscribe if you want to support this channel and I will see you in the next video. For more videos on all things investing, subscribe to this channel.